What's up everybody, David here, and today we need to talk about Sonar. Now the reason we're talking about Sonar today is because you probably already heard, but last week Sonar got the axe. In case you didn't already know, Sonar is made by a company called Cakewalk, and Cakewalk was bought out by Gibson in 2013, so Gibson Guitars owns Cakewalk. Well, Gibson is not doing too well, so last week they announced that they are stopping all further development at Cakewalk, which unfortunately includes Sonar. Sonar is the DAW that I've been using for at least five or six years. I don't even remember. That's how long it's been. And yeah, essentially Cakewalk and Sonar are done. There's going to be no more updates, no more rolling updates, no more anything. And yeah, that sucks. That's that's It really sucks. And it's got me feeling a couple ways right now. First is, I'm just genuinely upset because a Cakewalk is where I started all of it. Cakewalk is where I, I learned everything I know today and that's what led to all of this. The channel, the music, that's just, that's been my whole entire recording experience has been through Cakewalk. When I had been playing guitar for three or four years or so, I eventually got to the point where I wanted to hear what I sounded like playing guitar and it had never occurred to me that recording studios were a thing. I never thought about people going to sing into a microphone or or miking up a guitar cab. I just I never thought about how the music was actually made. My extent of recording knowledge was the microphone input on my computer and the sound recorder app in Windows XP. That was it. Until one year my parents actually got me Music Creator 5 for Christmas and that is that's basically like the entry level version of Sonar. Come to think of it, it was actually my parents who got me into the recording thing. Hmm. Thanks mom. Thanks dad. Anyways, I started using Music Creator 5, then eventually went to 6 and 7, then moved on to Sonar X1, X2, X3, and now Sonar Platinum I've been using for a couple years. And yeah, as you can tell, it's just my, my whole recording life has been with Cakewalk. So yeah, I'm just super bummed out that this is happening and it, it just it sucks to see them go now on the other hand of this whole thing I'm I don't want to say I'm mad but I guess I'm a little annoyed because I am one of those people who last year bought the $200 lifetime upgrades membership um, December 26 of 2016 I spent $200 to get lifetime upgrades for sonar and it is now November 29th of 2017 not even a whole year later and cakewalk and sonar are done so that $200 is now completely useless to me. I want to clarify, I'm not mad at Cakewalk. I'm honestly not. I, I'm i willing to bet that they did not plan on this happening. They probably wouldn't have sold that package if they knew this was happening, but it's just, it, it's just kind of natural. Like the timing of this is very unfortunate in that if you bought it last year like I did, you just naturally feel like you didn't get your money's worth. You naturally are thinking to yourself like I am, I wish I didn't spend that money. That was a waste. I could have put it into something else. And that, that that's really it. So I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm not going to yell at anybody. It's more of a, like a, like, God damn it. That sucks. So just keep in mind, guys, just don't direct all of your anger towards Cakewalk. Don't be too harsh on them because odds are it's probably hurting those guys a lot more than this whole thing is hurting us. And what's also just kind of weird to me is how they worded some of this stuff in the announcement. It's kind of vague, so I'm going to read some of this to you, um, and I'll also put it on the screen as well. But they said, we've ceased new product development and reduced overall operations, which sounds to me like, yo, we're done. And then they say things like, a team has been established during this transition period, and then monthly updates to Sonar from Cakewalk will however cease during this time, and then we'll keep you informed with any relevant developments. And what's weird to me is like, it seems like in some parts they're saying it's temporary and some parts they're saying it's permanent and it's just kind of vague and I'm just kind of like, what? Are, are you gone or are you not gone? What's going on? I'm just taking it as Sonar is done, Cakewalk is done, and that seems to be what everyone else is thinking as well. But what that means for me is that I will be switching DAWs. I will not be using Sonar anymore. And because I will be switching DAWs, the sonar content will stop. Now, as much as it sucks to say that, I have a reason for that. And the reason I have for switching to something else is innovation. I am very much a technology nerd, whether it be computers or even phones. Like if, 
If it's tech stuff, I'm going to geek out over it. And especially right now, software and technology is incredible. The leaps we're taking and how fast it's happening is just amazing to watch and it's exciting. And I want to be at the center of that progression. I want to be right in the middle of that innovation. And if Cakewalk is ceasing all further development of Sonar or Gibson is ceasing development at Cakewalk, that means there's no innovation anymore. That means there's nothing new, there's no progression, and for that reason, I'm going to go to something else. I want to be around that progression, and I want to be where the innovation is at, and unfortunately, if that's not going to be with Sonar, then I'm going to move to something else. And I really hope you guys can understand that at the least, because honestly, I feel, I feel really bad about switching. I know there's a lot of people on my channel who subscribe to me for the Sonar content, and I genuinely feel like I, I'm letting you guys down or I'm abandoning you by using a different software. And that is not my intention. I, that, I promise you that is not my intention. But the thing is, I'm just going with my gut here. And my gut is telling me that it's the end of the road for Sonar, for, for me at least. And it's, it's time to find something new. I know there's a lot of guys holding out, maybe hoping that someone will buy Cakewalk or buy Sonar and resurrect it. And while that definitely is a possibility, I'm not holding my breath for it. My gut is telling me that this is a sign and that it's time to move on to something else. Because fun fact, I actually considered switching last year. I was going to switch DAWs and something made me say, you know what, I'm going to stay with Sonar and that's what I know best, that's what I'm really good at, so I'm going to stay with Sonar and while I'm here, I'm going to invest in this lifetime upgrade package. And I decided to stay, I paid that money, and now 11 months later, uh, sonar is done so um, yeah I'm just taking this as a sign that it's time to leave it's time to try something new so I just really hope that you guys can understand that but overall I'm actually pretty excited I think this will actually be something fun and it'll be a fun change of pace and I'm pretty stoked to just switch it up I'm actually about to build a new computer as well so I'll be getting a new computer a new DAW and there's just a bunch of cool stuff changing and that is exciting to me, so I'm going to take this negative and try and turn it into a positive. As far as what DAW I'm going to, uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm still deciding between two different DAWs. I'm not going to say what they are yet. It's a very, very hard decision. I didn't think it would be this hard to switch, um, but yeah, I'm still working on that. As soon as I decide on something, I will definitely let you guys know. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to talk about the whole sonar thing and let you know what that means for me and what that means for the channel. And yeah, it sucks, man. I'm I'm genuinely bummed about it, and it it just sucks for all you Sonar fans. Like we're we're grieving together, man. It it sucks. But overall, like I said, I'm gonna take it as a sign. I'm gonna turn it into a positive and just roll with the punches, man. I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be really exciting, and I'm just stoked to see what comes next. And that's it, guys. I'm gonna end it on a positive note. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and do all that other stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.